Hey what's up guys my name is Pavan from PNP Tutorials and you're watching the PNP Tutorials channel and in this video we are basically going to talk about running the Kali Linux on Pineberg. If you are looking for electronic components like registers, transistors, IC chips and not only that some stuff related to Raspberry Pi then don't forget to check out the utsource.net for good quality products. Link is given in the description below. And also guys I have one announcement to make in this video so please watch the video till end and announcement is waiting for you. So if you guys don't know what is Pinebook. So Pinebook is basically a cheap Linux laptop that was released around one year back. And this laptop comes in two flavors and the difference is just of the screen size. First Pinebook model is of 14 inches and the price of this model is 99 US dollars. Whereas the second model is of 11 inches and the price of this model is $89. So when this model was released around one year back, everybody was super surprised to see the performance of this laptop because it was really performing well. That laptop was actually having a full-fledged 1080p resolution display and the two USB ports for the faster data transfer. And not only that it was also having the good battery that was giving the power backup for about 6 hours. And that laptop is actually running on a single board computer and that single board computer is also created by the company called Pine64. Now at that time I was wondering can I run the Car Linux or the Parrotsec operating system on this Pinebook. Because if a laptop is cheap and it is portable as well then why not to try a hacking operating system on it. So I tried to run the Kali Linux and the Paritsec operating system images but I was unable to do it. And then I had conversation with one of the team member of Pine64 and they said they are actually working on the Kali Linux images. So right after one year finally we have got the Kali Linux image for our Pinebook. Now here you can see guys, here we have the Pine64 forum link and on that link you can see that Kali Linux can be run on 14 inch or the 11 inch Pinebook with ease. Now there are two images that this developer has released and the name of this developer is Steve, you shout out to his name. If you want to check out his GitLab profile then you can click on that link. Now here we have two images, first one is for the eMMC card and second one is actually for the SD card. The one that I'm interested in the SD card image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on that and this will actually open up the Kali Linux rolling pinebook sdimg.exe file. Now just click on download and the size of this file is around 650 megabyte. After downloading that file you will also have to download a software called WinRAR. Because this file is actually compressed in the .exe extension so WinRAR will be able to decompress it as well. After you have downloaded the WinRAR then you will simply have to right click on it and click on extract file. Once you will click on the extract file then WinRAR will give you this file. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flash this file over the 128 gigabyte SD card. Unfortunately I don't have any other SD card. I'm using my GoPro SD card to flash the Kali Linux Pinebook image. I will do it with the help of a software called Etcher software which I've just downloaded here. The size of this Etcher software is 140 megabyte. Now this software has been installed into my system. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on select image. Click on desktop and here we have that image. Now just click on open and I need to select my SD card but unfortunately my SD card has just got disconnected. Let me reconnect it. Now I'll just click on that. Now I'm gonna flash this 7 gigabyte file on 128 gigabyte SD card. You can of course use 16 gigabyte SD card if you want to. Then click on flash. It is giving some sort of warning as well. Just click on continue. Click on yes. Now this process will take around 5 minutes to flash this file over the SD card. And after that we will plug in that SD card into the Pinebook and then we will see if 
the Pinebook can boot Kali Linux operating system or not. And after that we will check out how is actually the performance of Kali Linux over the Pinebook. Now the flashing process has been finished. Now I'm gonna take out my SD card and I will plug in that SD card into my Pinebook 14 inches. And then we will notice the very first boot of our Kali Linux operating system on Pinebook. Now here we have the 14 inches Pinebook. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in that SD card. And here we have that 128GB Samsung Evo SD card. And here we have that SD card slot. Simply plug it in. Now let's boot the Pinebook. It has been 15 seconds and the cursor was blinking and finally here we have the Kali Linux right in front of you. Let's try to log in. Now here you can see guys the Wi-Fi is not working so we will have to enable the Wi-Fi connection. For that we will have to actually enable the drivers. After the first boot we will click on the application and then we will click on the terminal emulator and after that we will simply type in here user source and then RTL go inside this directory and now we need to simply run TKMS now this will actually compile the driver for this Wi-Fi chipset now here you can see guys the drivers has been compiled successfully and they have also been installed now we can quickly move our camera to the right side and see if the Wi-Fi connections are available or not. And here you can see guys, the Wi-Fi connections are available. That means the drivers has been compiled successfully. Now I'm gonna enter my password here. And here you can see guys, the Wi-Fi has been connected successfully. Now let me try to perform the APD update. And then we will install a few tools and then we will see the performance of those tools as well. Now it will take some time to get the updates from the official repositories of Kali Linux. Now here you can see guys our repositories has been updated. Now we can install few tools because if you click on the application you will not see any tool here. So what we will gonna do is we will gonna install the burp suit first. So for that we will simply type in here apt install burp suit. Now it will actually take some time to install the burp suit into our Kali Linux. Similarly we can also install some other Kali Linux tools as well. And if you want to install all the Kali Linux tools then what you can do is you can simply type in your apt-get install Kali Linux full. And that will actually install all the tools of Kali Linux and that will actually install all the tools of Kali Linux into your Pinebook. As soon as the burp suit will be installed into our Kali Linux, we will actually try to open up the burp suit and see if it is working fine or not. And that will also help us to understand the performance of this Kali Linux version on Pinebook because burp suit generally takes the more amount of RAM and it also consumes the more resources of the CPU. So that software will be really helpful to see the performance of Kali Linux on Pinebook. And seriously guys, this laptop is nowhere looking like a $99 laptop. So far my experience with Kali Linux on Pinebook is so good. It is really smooth. It is not lagging anywhere as of now. I mean this is incredible. If you want to buy the Pinebook then the link is given in the description below. And not only that Pine64 is also releasing the Pinebook Pro. And if they will send me the sample unit, then I will definitely like to try the Kali Linux on Pinebook Pro. And I hope you will guys also be interested in same. Now after installing the burp suit, these categories has already been created. Now here you can see Nmap has been automatically installed and some other web application tools has also been installed like SQL map along with the burp suit. So I'm just gonna click on burp suit and let's see how will it gonna perform on this Pinebook. And seriously guys so far burp suit is working fine. Let me quickly also try to do one thing and that thing is to actually enable the monitor mode on this Wi-Fi chipset. And here you can see guys error adding the monitor mode interface. 
operation is not permitted and if you can see here iwconfig has just disabled the Wi-Fi network and it is still on the managed mode and we have also lost the connection to a Wi-Fi. You will be able to see that join button near the subscribe button. So congratulations to all of you guys. YouTube has finally enabled the channel membership options for us. Now the question comes, what is channel membership? Channel membership is a way to connect more closely to me. And not only that, if you will join the channel membership option, then you will be helping me out financially. You guys will also get some perks like I will do the live streaming every week for the channel members only. On top of that, you will be able to live chat with me and golden membership guys will also get the shout outs in the video. But seriously guys, by joining the channel membership, you are helping a creator that you love the most and you like to see the most. So I hope to see you becoming a part of PNP family. So that is pretty much everything about the video. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video then give it a big thumbs up. If you are new to this channel then don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming videos. I will definitely make another video when this testing image will be the final image and it will be officially launched by the Kali Linux website. And as soon as they will launch it, I hope I will have the Pinebook Pro as well with me. And as soon as I will have the Kali Linux as well as the Pinebook Pro, I'll definitely make the video on both of them. So thanks for watching this video guys. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video then give it a big. If you are new to this channel then don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.